Cam Studios going. So, <clears throat> I'm going through our YouTube comments, and I see here uh, on our Vista Borrows from the Mac video uh, that AND SANP, I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be pronunciable or what. Um, posted a question on here, and I think this is a pretty good one because uh, this this kind of has to do with Vista. Uh, has to do with some of the extra features that are built into it. Um, most notably, in Ultimate, uh, there's a feature in Ultimate called Dream Scene, and what Dream Scene does is it lets you use a video as your desktop background. Now personally I think that's a little overkill. I mean it, it might be good if you have a very short clip um, that you just kinda wanna have for like a demo or something like that. If you, you're like really really big into doing demos or a business or whatever it'd be great for that. And his particular question is um, can we walk him through the dream scene patch for home premium users. Uh, well, like I said, this feature is only available on Ultimate. Now, I know, I know, I know, there is a patch slash hack uh, that you can do to allow uh, dream scene to actually work with Ultimate, I mean, uh, home premium and business edition, uh, but that's why I would consider wares and I don't want to get into doing uh, things where I'm showing you people how to uh, hack your systems and whatnot and things like that that'll piss Microsoft off but but it doesn't hurt to ask the question because in this case I know of something that can do this that's legitimate and even better free that's right uh, I do believe it even works with um, Windows XP I haven't tried it on there, but I do know it works on uh, Vista, Vista Home Premium. <clears throat> so, what this program is called, um, oh, did I not bookmark it? I didn't bookmark it. Let me, let me do a search for the Google. VLC Media Player. That's Victor Lima Charlie VLC Media Player. And what this lets you do, you download it. It's videoland.org slash VLC. I'll put a link in the YouTube uh, for this and also in the episode uh, summary as well. Um, you go in there, you download it. This is a free program now. Uh, select your country. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to bother clicking that. And once you get it downloaded, you go through the installer. Uh, all the basic options will work fine for this. Uh, I basically enabled the um, player for the <coughs> Mozilla, Firefox, all that good stuff uh, as well. But the basic install will do this. And then once you get it installed, you have the VLC media player icon on your desktop. Just open that up. And it's it's a little bit different. It's it's a slightly different program here. It can be a bit confusing at first. Um, what you want to do is adjust the settings first of all. First of all, that's what you want to do. So you go to settings, preferences, and you want to go into video, and then you want to check some of your other. Um, filters in here make sure it's gonna really display how you want none of these other options in here to magnify zoom all that other stuff should be turned off uh, you can put those on it'll let you zoom in on the video move it around stuff like that but uh, we're going to do just the basic stuff and we're going to go over to the output modules gonna click on click on it. Oh. Sorry, it's a 
when you close it out, you have to check the advanced options, and now you see some cool stuff in here. Right there at the bottom right. <coughs> I keep forgetting about that. Um, on output modules, I like to set to DirectX video output. Uh, when you're using Vista and you have the arrow interface on, it's basically using DirectX. So if you're going to do this video thing, you might as well go the full DirectX route and let the video actually just go ahead and play DirectX. So I go ahead and I enable DirectX video output. And then you go down to DirectX here. And it's got a couple other options. And whoop, what is this? Enable wallpaper mode. Make sure that's checked. Now what's going to happen is whenever you play a video file in VLC, it's going to automatically change your desktop background to be this. Uh, it does do a couple other things with your desktop background as well. It keeps kind of a uh, setting memory of it so that when you turn this off, it goes back to it. Uh, <clears throat> so later when the video stops, it goes back to your normal desktop background. Uh, if you're running XP, I do believe you have to turn off any background images you have. Uh, it does give you a little warning about that if you put your mouse over here. Note this feature works only in overlay mode and desktop wallpaper must not be set. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> so you got all that checked. You go ahead and you save it. Now this is where it gets probably, I think, better than Dream Scene. Uh, Dream Scene, you basically set a single thing as your wallpaper. Um... So if you had a clip of your kid or girlfriend or whatever doing something, you want to make that your background, uh, you just open up that file and set it, and that's it. Does the video, and you can just right-click your desktop and enable Dream Scene. Uh, with VLC, you can actually open up files, and I'm going to 